Good evening. An Albuquerque woman thought she was doing the right thing by bringing home a lost dog. But she refused to give it back to its owner, and she ended up charged with a crime. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live at the city's animal welfare office. Rachel? Dean Jess, animal welfare, says it's not often that they cite people for keeping a lost pet, but it does happen, and this case wound up before a judge. And we saw this dog limping. Teresa Smith lives close by the petroglyphs on the west side. Back in March, something in the desert caught her eye. When I picked him up, he was very matted, full of stickers. His little toenails had been rolled over. Um, so he couldn't walk. She rushed the poodle mix to this animal hospital. The staff told me off camera they remembered the dog, confirming it was in bad shape. As protocol, the vet checked for a microchip, which the dog had. Its name popped up as Foxy, and its owners lived close by. They called the owner with no answer. I said I'd be more than happy to keep this dog, and they said, well, they have to notify animal control because it's in such bad condition. I said, fine, perfect. So the owner never called back, so they released the dog to me. Soon after, Smith got a phone call from Animal Welfare saying she needs to give Foxy to them so they could return it to the original owners who discovered their dog was found. But Smith hesitated. Because I just didn't want them to pick up the dog and give him back without any consequences to the owner. Smith says she only kept the dog for a night before it went back to its home. With an understanding from the family, she can check on the dog's well-being from time to time. But shortly after, Smith was blindsided with a notice from court saying she's been charged with a petty misdemeanor for not returning a lost or found pet. Smith believes she was wrongly accused. And now this is going to be on my record for life and I just don't want that stigma when I was just trying to be the Good Samaritan and do the right thing. According to court records, the case was dismissed during the trial. Smith adds that she has seen Foxy around on walks and appears to be happy and healthy, but adds that she wishes that the owners got some sort of slap on the wrist. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Rachel. We also reached out to the dog's original owners, but never heard back.